Happy belated free comic book day! So yes, as you may or may not know, yesterday was International Free Comic Book Day, which is exciting. Um, oh, oh, hello, is in front of the camera. And um, a lot of the people I follow on um, Tumblr or subscribe to on YouTube have been doing hauls, um, haul videos of what they got, so I thought I would do the same. So my initial plan um, was to go to Labyrinth, uh, the Bug Guiling and um, Silver Snail, which are all comic book stores in Toronto. But um, as fate would have it, I had a bunch of other things to do yesterday, so I only managed to hit Labyrinth, which is fine by me because Labyrinth is probably my favorite store ever because it's awesome. Um, it's really small, but it's got a whole bunch of content. It's got uh, lots of manga, comic books, um, graphic novels, art books, some novels. Um, and a whole bunch of like just like different trinkets and toys and stuff. A lot of Doctor Who stuff, which is cool because I'm a huge Whovian. And um, they also charge everything at US cover prices, which is like a few dollars cheaper than it is in Canada, which is cool. Plus for every 10 book books you buy, you get a free one. So I've obviously got a lot of free books because I buy a lot of books. So coincidentally, um, all the comics I picked up are based off something else, like shows or movies or books. Um, they weren't originally comics first. Um, and Labyrinth, they had, you could pick five, so I picked five. Um, I didn't, I found this recently that they were going to make a graphic novel version of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and I'm a big fan of the Millennium Trilogy, so I was so excited when I found that out. And then I went to Labyrinth, and of course they have the preview version, um, I'm really excited. The art is so cool. Like, um, it's totally gritty and exactly what I would expect of a graphic novel version of this book. Like, I don't know how much you can see, but like the, the details are just awesome on Elizabeth's face, and like all these like scars and like freckles. Like, I'm so excited. I just I I was reading a magazine last week and I just saw that they were doing this, and then ah, I'm excited because I'm a huge fan. I was Elizabeth Salander for Halloween. La not the one that just happened, but the one before that, because obviously I wasn't a great Elizabeth Slander, because I think we're pretty opposite people, but it was fun, because she's cool. Um, and so the second one I picked up what is I did not know about this, but apparently they're making a graphic novel, novel version of Clockwork Angel, which is, of course, the first um, well, uh, book in Cassandra Clare's Infernal Devices series, which um, is a prequel trilogy to the Mortal Instruments series. Yes. And if you watch my vlogs, you know that I'm a pretty big Sandra Claire fan, so I was really excited when I saw this. The art is very shoujo-y, um, but also quite Victorian, so I'm looking forward to that because I think it would make a pretty cool graphic novel, definitely better than the Mortal Instruments because any Victorian-related drawings are obviously beautiful. Um, and this is probably my favorite, and I was very excited to see this because I'm a huge fan of the Guild. Um, and yes, I love the Guild comics. They're really funny, and they're pretty true to the series. Um, and the art is just so hilarious and adorable. Um, so I was so excited to see this. And then actually, it's one of the ones that you flip over and Buffy. And you've met my cat in like, all of my vlogs recently, basically. And, um, her name is Willow Rosenberg, so obviously I'm a huge Buffy fan. Um, I haven't read the Buffy one yet, but apparently it's in space, so interesting. <laughs> um, and then I got this one, which looks really cool. Um, I guess they're making a graphic novel version of The Wizard of Oz. Um, and this is just like, this isn't the actual graphic novel, but it's like information about the one that's coming and like character designs and stuff like that. And the art looks awesome. Like, it's so cool. And I wouldn't have known about this series otherwise, but now I'm really excited for it because I'm definitely going to read it. And the last one I got was an also very exciting one, Serenity, which, of course, takes place post-Serenity, um, which is the film version of Firefly. And even though I wasn't happy with everything that happened in Serenity, <coughs> wash! Um, I'm really excited to read this. And again, it's in the flip one, so you flip it over from Mal, and you see Han Solo. Star Wars. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. Um, I think it's like the one main 
nerd factor that I'm not a part of. Um, but I'll read it because I don't mind Star Wars. Just not a huge, I'm not a huge fan. But this one girl that was so funny, um, who was at the comic table beside me, she was talking to her boyfriend and she was so excited because she could have Mal, Mal Reynolds and um, Han Solo on the same piece of paper. And the guy who worked there, who was like, like monitor, monitoring and stuff, making sure you didn't take more than five. He's like, yeah, you just get two and make them like hug or something. So she was really excited. It was funny. Um, so yeah, those are the comics I got. Um, I wish I had the chance and time to go to other stores to pick up more, but whatever. I'm happy with those five because they're free. So yeah. So I hope those of you who went to comic book places for a free comic book day got some cool gear. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.